Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The MP Kelvin Hopkins, who was suspended from the Labour Party over claims of sexual harassment tonight, faces further allegations, this time from the Labour MP Kerry McCarthy. She says she's speaking out to support Eva Etemadzada, who asserted Hopkins sent her inappropriate text and rubbed his crotch against her accusations that he denies. Kerry McCarthy, who says Hopkins began paying her unwanted attention in 1994 and continued to do so less than two years ago, has produced a cache of letters and cards from him. Chris Cook is here. So what is this all about? So the, one of the things Kerry McCarthy said this evening is that she says that her experiences, her problems with, uh, with Kelvin Hopkins, as she relates them, um, were, she said, not very tangible. If I told anyone, it would just be gossip instead of a complaint. But it's really inappropriate the way he's behaved. What she's done is she's come forward with, with um, stuff that she feels is germane to this issue that's already going on mm -hmm. with the investigation into the conduct of Mr Hopkins, now an independent MP since Labour has suspended him. Um, we've got one of the letters here, we have a quote from it. Um, she sent him, uh, he sent her a note while she was his sitting MP. Strangely, I dreamt about you the following night. A nice dream. Much time has passed, but I do remember earlier times and you remain a very attractive woman. Um, the, Mr Hopkins himself has said that if Ms McCarthy had raised a complaint with the Labour Party in the normal and fair way, uh, you know, he'd, he would, of course, cooperate with any investigation. But he appealed that on behalf of himself and on behalf of other individuals and their families, that these matters should be dealt with by sort of a proper due process and not by what he describes as an unfair, humiliating, one-sided trial by the media. Chris, thanks very much indeed. Well, Brexit may have been forced out of the Westminster headlines lately, but the sexual harassment scandal that's been in the spotlight has not gone away. There were more revelations today about Labour MP Kelvin Hopkins. His colleague Kerry McCarthy said this evening she had suffered unwanted attention from him over a period spanning 20 years. He says her claims have caused him immense personal hurt. Well, our political correspondent Romley Weeks uh, joins me now for more on this. And what further detail has emerged on this tonight? Well, um, Kelvin Hopkins is already being investigated over claims that he behaved improperly towards a young Labour activist, Ava Etemazadeh. And now uh, Kerry McCarthy, a fellow Labour MP, has come forward to say that she feels that over a period of many years he also behaved to her in a way that she felt was inappropriate and upsetting. This is the first time since this scandal broke that a Labour MP, any MP, has accused another MP. And Kerry McCarthy has also published the letters that um, Kelvin Hopkins allegedly wrote to her. In one, as you can see here, he writes, my only reason for asking you out to lunch is because you are attractive, intelligent and charming. I would quite like to do it again sometime. And he adds a PS, best to dispose of once read. There's another letter that he, in which he writes of dreaming about her, saying, I dreamt about you the following night, a nice dream. And he goes on, you remain a very attractive woman. Now, Kerry McCarthy herself says that this behaviour was in the realms of being upsetting and uncomfortable rather than anything more threatening like, than that. But she says that she came forward because she felt that she had to support Miss Etemazadeh and she says that I didn't feel I could say stay silent when my experience was so similar to hers. As for Mr Hopkins himself, he's released a statement asking for a fair chance to defend himself and he says I can't understand why a parliamentarian of such experience and standing, referring to Miss McCarthy, would not have told me that she was unhappy with any aspect of our friendship rather than going straight to the national press. What happens with Mr Hopkins has implications for, for Mr Corbyn too, because he was already under fire for promoting him to his shadow cabinet after the first allegations were raised with him. Uh, also, Romney, and briefly, there's still great uncertainty tonight for the Prime Minister for the allegations facing her deputy, Damien Green. That's right. There are, there are many MPs under investigation, but none as close to the Prime Minister as Damien Green. He was interviewed on Monday over claims that he acted improperly towards a young journalist. We understand that investigation has been expanded to include claims that there was porn found on his uh, computer, both claims he strenuously denies. OK, Romney, thank you very much indeed. Uh,